I wanted to share a little of my lifestyle changes and things that I did to help me live a little more comfortably with my current situation. If you are new to this channel, I did a video on what's happening with me and my health issues and where my where I am at in the process. So I will try and link that video in the description or somewhere along in this video for you guys to check it out. And this is just a continuation from that. And if you are new, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are returning, thank you again for just being there for me, your comments. Some of you have sent me inbox messages, sharing your experience. Thank you so much for being with me in this journey. Trust me, it's like the more the merrier in terms of support and love. I really, really appreciate it. So when all of this happened, a lot of things, of course, were going on with my body and I was in a lot of pain and I had to start changing lots of things in my lifestyle. And I will deal with food in videos to come and one thing that everyone has been responding and telling me is that they want to see a lot of cooking videos or videos sharing recipes or even on my blog so you can check me actually on my instagram with Rowana v i've been trying to post things that i've been eating and doing and i will try to post a lot of food stuff on my sprinkling seeds because I do use a lot of stuff that I get in my garden so that will be linked there and anything else that I can I will try and use you know post it there or my makeup page but more or less all my health lifestyle stuff I will post on my sprinkling seeds page all of that will be in the description um, below so check it out um, for this video though I want to talk about things that I did immediately um, to help change myself and the food will come in a bit later not in this video but in other videos to come i slept for the first month in a recliner because when i went to lie down i would get pain that will shoot up into my arms all the way down to my elbow and sometimes i would even get tinglings all here it was kind of really ridiculous both hands and I felt like my whole chest was on fire ridiculously on fire it was like burning could lie down I tried propping up myself and then I end up with a lot of back pains so I just decided to sleep in a recliner now something that I still do that's really really bad is that I go to bed very late and I do suffer with insomnia like a lot of times my days are so busy and then at night you think I would fall asleep. No, a lot of times, a lot of things are going on in my head. And that's when I think I create maybe flare-ups, which is what I'm working on right now to try to, I don't want to say cleanse my mind just before I go to bed, but I have started a routine. And if you guys are interested in that video as to how I try to cleanse my mind so that I can help myself fall asleep and relax, I will do a separate video on that. But then I would just like be overwhelmed and I think all of that just messed up my stomach too and so the acid would be bubbling and stuff. Now I stopped, would stop eating like I think at that point around 6 later 7 p.m. and I would go to bed like around 9. If I stop eating at 6 I would try to go to bed at 9, 10 o'clock for the latest and then religiously I would actually wake up between 5 and 6 o'clock a.m. Because I was going to bed early. Now, regularly, I was only accustomed to getting five hours sleep, if six hours max. And I, with all of this change, having to go to bed really early was a little frustrating and sleeping in a recliner. So I would go through, like, the nights not really sleeping. I noticed if I was on my iPad or my phone a lot, I would wake up with headaches. And I would try to nap during the day, but it was <clears throat> it was really, really tough. Your body needs to rest to heal, but I was not getting as much rest as I should that first month. And I really tried. Um, I think a lot of stuff, what, what I was bothering me was mainly the fact that I can take care of my family, and specifically Jordan, my youngest son. And he was three, going on four at that time. 
he did have a birthday that I could not do much for him, bake a cake. That bothered me considerably. And I think it was right after his birthday, which is in October, that I just told myself that I had to work on fixing things with myself and feeling better. That played a huge role when I could just, could not. I remember Josh's birthday, which is in September. I literally was eating plain soup while they were having a really nice meal and we bought a cake for him, something I have not done in maybe years since he was maybe one or two. And Josh is 20, so it was like now. So it was like then all those things bothered me. So for Jordan's birthday in October, which was a month after I got sick, I just made a conscious effort to change. So one of the things that we actually did was incline my bed rather than me prop pillows up. And the reason I say that is that you want to be in an incline so that your asset does not feel like it has to come up. So in addition of which you making sure that you, after you finish eating, that three to four hours is recommended. Most doctors will tell you two to three. But in my research, three to four hours after eating is the best time to actually go and sleep. And since I've been doing that, I've seen a huge difference. Like if I try to sleep or go take a nap, even on the incline, two hours, one and a half to two hours after eating or even napping during the day, I literally will start feeling sick. Now, a lot of people say they can actually sleep on their, that you, you can turn on your left side because when you turn on your left side your stomach everything remains in your stomach cannot come back up i know that sometimes i feel kind of really sick if i sleep too long on my left side and the best position for me was actually just lying on my back now that in itself i ended up with a lot of back pain and pain in my legs and my arms because my body was like in one position but what i try to do is you know as much as possible in my consciousness because when you're sleeping sometimes you're in a light sleep i will change my body position especially if i tap into turn on and lean on my right i would actually go back i don't ever lie down on my stomach and i have i know people who say they do but because i think of my gallbladder issues i cannot find myself lying on my stomach i get pain like i literally will feel pain and i'll feel a little nauseous so that one of the very first things I'll recommend is if you can get blocks, what I do is have books. I took a bunch of books that we weren't using and I just put it up and inclined my bed. Um, I have traveled for the last year. A couple months ago, we were in Orlando by my in-laws and of course my bed is not inclined. So that three to four hours was so crucial for me to get sleep. Like I literally had to cut off and be like four hours and then go and lie down. Sometimes I would want to sleep before and I would literally sit in my sister-in-law's recliner and doze off because I knew I could not lie down. And that helped a lot to keep down the acid. And the next thing that I had to do to help with sleep and relax was to with my gallbladder stuff was to actually just have like sips of water so that my body didn't get dehydrated so even though you shouldn't eat anything afterwards sipping water is not bad you just don't want to be gulping a lot of water you know consec you know like one glass of water a cup of water you know one time if you take it in like little increments like one or two mouthfuls every half an hour after you finish eating and the last thing that I will share with you in this particular video is that I got myself some really good quality chamomile. Um, I got one that was growing very close to where I live because it's a flower. Chamomile is a flower and bees pollinate it and I suffer with really bad allergies. And I was told that if you get chamomile close to your ear and you brew it and you drink it, it also helps with your allergies and your flare up. So I do use um chamomile that's growing here but i know for everyone that may not be possible but just get yourself a really good quality chamomile and so i draw myself some chamomile and have a cup of chamomile tea that's one of the last things that i do take before going to bed and again i do sip it in increments so i'll make it i'll sip it and then every you know i usually sit and watch tv at night and i will sip it 
and then just before the last drop of liquid or anything I put in my stomach will be about half an hour before I go to bed so it's like I don't drink or put anything and then just go and lie down and I've noticed that when I do this it has helped tremendously so if you have same issue and you do the little things at night just before you go to bed please feel free to share it in the comment section below so that you can help me and help others who are going through the same journey with acid reflux and gastritis and or gallbladder issues and these kind of things how we can help each other and you know grow together and live comfortably and have successful lives so thank you guys for your time until my next video bye